Hi Science Buddies! I am Teacher Jaja, your teacher for today's Science at Home class. Come and join me and let's explore the wonderful world of science because science is fun. Are you ready? Great! So bring out the inner scientist in you and together we're going to explore the wonderful world of science. Before we start our discussion, please get your science module number one entitled Does It Matter? Science Notebook and Ballpen Ready. This visual lesson will focus on Lesson 3 Materials that Undergo Decay. At the end of this visual lesson, you are expected to identify the materials that undergo decay and Describe the materials that undergo decay. Study the picture. What is the first word that comes to your mind when you see it? Correct! It's garbage. So, what is garbage? Yes, garbage is the stuff we don't need anymore. It is the junk we think is useless. It is the reject we don't want to deal with because it is dirty and stinky and the cast off from the way we live. It comes from our homes, businesses, government agencies and institutions like our schools and hospitals. When you throw out your garbage, chances are it ends up in a landfill. So what is a landfill? Landfill is where municipal waste ends up in. Just like in our municipality of Santa Maria, our landfill is located in Barangay Tangawan. Do you know where it is? Most of the garbage you've sent to landfills in your lifetime is still there. There is no getting away with garbage. Yes, you read it right. There is no way to get rid of all our garbage. We can never really make garbage disappear, right? So when we throw garbage away, it just goes somewhere else. So as young as you are, what can you do to manage your waste? Very good! The best solution is to make less, then find the most appropriate way. What are those? You're right! Practice the 5 R's. So what are the 5 R's? So the 5 R's are refuse, reduce, Reuse, recycle, and rot. Very good. What should you do before throwing your garbage? So what can you do to make it reusable again? Very good. You should identify first if your garbage is a decaying material or biodegradable material or non-decaying material or non-biodegradable material. Reuse and recycle non-decaying materials and compost the decaying materials. There are two kinds of garbage, decaying and non-decaying materials. Decaying materials is also known as biodegradable materials, while non-decaying materials is also known as non-biodegradable materials. Not of all these materials decay or decompose at the same time. So in this video lesson, it will help you learn the properties of materials that undergo decay. Let's see what you know about our topic. You're going to put a check mark on the space provided before the number if the materials undergo fast decay. So we have here five materials. We have plastic bottles, kamota leaves, banana peeling, plastic bag, and a broken glass. So which among these materials undergo fast decay? Very good. So kamota leaves and banana peeling undergo fast decay compared to plastic bottles, plastic bag, and broken glass, which decay slowly. Have you ever wondered what will your garbage turn into? How does your garbage decay? Let's do this activity, entitled, What Will I Turn Into? So you're going to observe the pictures. As you can see, we have here five pictures of different materials. The decaying materials or the biodegradable materials and non-decaying materials or non-biodegradable materials. 
what you're going to do is that you're going to identify which among these materials undergo fast decay. So you're going to write or you're going to draw your answers in your science notebook. Are you ready? Okay, let's see what you have drawn. So what are the materials that undergo fast decay? Yes, you're correct. Kamata leaves and leftover food undergo fast decay, whereas plastic bottles, plastic bag, and broken glass decay slowly. Decaying materials or biodegradable materials decompose faster than non-decaying materials or non-biodegradable materials. Biodegradable materials are usually come from living things. They decay faster compared to non-biodegradable materials because of the bacteria they have. Did you know that the organic matter in soil is derived from dead plants and animals? Yes. If dead plants and animals decompose, they become part of the soil. It becomes an organic fertilizer. Organic fertilizer from compost peat does not harm but enrich the soil. As you have learned earlier, there are two kinds of garbage the decaying materials and the non-decaying materials. So in this activity, we're going to identify which of this garbage belongs to. That it decays fast or decays slowly. Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Dried leaves, does it decays fast or decays slowly? You're right, dried leaves decays fast. What about plastic bottles? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Plastic bottles decays slowly. What about a dead plant? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Dead plant decays fast. What about dry twigs? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Dry twigs decays fast. What about a dead mouse or any other dead animals? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Dead mouse decays fast. What about broken glass? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Broken glass decays slowly. What about vegetable peelings? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Vegetable peelings decays fast. What about leftover food? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Leftover food decays fast. What about old tires? Does it decay fast or decays slowly? Correct. Old tires decay slowly. What about broken plate? Does it decay fast or decays slowly? Yes, you're right. Broken plate decays slowly. So as you can observe based on the result of our activity, decaying materials or biodegradable materials decays fast compared to non-biodegradable materials or non-decaying materials. Why? Correct. Decaying materials undergoes fast decay because of the bacteria it has absorbed which cause it to rot. Biodegradable materials or also known as decaying materials is able to degrade or break down. Biodegradable means that it will decay and can become soil. Yes, you're right, soil. That is all soil is anyway, decayed plants and animals. Can you give me examples of biodegradable materials or decaying materials? Correct, you're right, very good. Examples of decaying materials are leftover food, papers, and dried leaves. Non-biodegradable materials or non-decaying materials are materials that cannot be broken down by organisms. Non-biodegradable garbage is not going to decay ever or the decay will take thousands of years. These items are usually made from chemicals or minerals that do not break down. Can you give me examples of non-biodegradable materials or non-decaying materials? Very good! So examples of non-biodegradable materials or non-decaying materials are tin cans, plastic bottles, and glass. As you can see, these materials are made of chemicals. Have you learned anything yet from our lesson? Very good. So what is decay? 
Correct. Decay means to be slowly destroyed into bits in the presence of water, air, and soil. Many factors contribute to the process of decomposition. So what do you think are the factors affecting the process of decaying or decomposition of materials? Yes, you're right. So the factors affecting the process of decomposition are the temperature, the water or the moisture content of the material, the air in the surroundings, the amount of sunlight, the composers, and the type of material itself. If given enough time, decaying materials or biodegradable materials will decay in the presence of water, air, and decomposers. So decomposers are the earthworms, insects, and bacteria, and the fungi. So decomposers are small creatures in our environment that are like living garbage disposals, and they eat everything. They eat dead remains and are even known as the nature's cleaners. If decomposers did not do their job, the ground would be covered in garbage, dead things, and disgusting junk. Living things such as plants, animals, and humans decay faster compared to non-decaying materials that is made of plastic, metals, styrofoam, and rubbers. Not all plants and animals decay at the same time. The rate at which something breaks down depends on where it is and what it's made of. Let us study this picture. How long does it take for your garbage to decompose? For the train ticket, which is made of paper, it will take 2 weeks. For the orange peels or any vegetable fillings, it will take 6 months. For the milk cartoons, which is made of wax paper, it will take 5 years to decompose. And for the tin can, it will take 50 years, whereas the batteries will take 100 years to decompose and for the plastic bottles, it will take 450 years to decompose. Now that you know the materials that undergo fast decay, let's do this activity entitled Fast or Slow. Write F if the material decays fast and S if it decays slowly. Number 1. Dried leaves. Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct, so the answer is F. It decays fast. What about banana? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct, so the answer is F. Decays fast. What about a dead mouse? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct, so the answer is F. It decays fast. What about an eggshell? Does it decays fast or decays slowly? Correct. Eggshells decays slowly. Let's do this activity. What I have learned or what you have learned. So you're going to fill in the missing words to make the statement correct. Are you ready? Okay, number one. Not all plants and animals undergo decay at the blank time. What is your answer? Correct. Not all plants and animals undergo decay at the same time. Number 2. The organic matter in soil is derived from plants and animals. It becomes blank fertilizer. What is your answer? Correct. The organic matter in soil is derived from plants and animals. It becomes organic fertilizer. Number 3. Some factors contribute to the decaying process of materials are sunlight, Blank, soil, and action of microorganisms. What is the missing word? Correct. Some factors that contribute to the decaying process of materials are sunlight, temperature, soil, and action of microorganisms. Very good, guys. So let's go into answer these questions. Question number one. Why are leftover foods kept in the refrigerator? Correct. Leftover foods are kept in refrigerators to avoid or delay spoilage since microorganisms that break down food do not grow fast in cold temperature. Number 2. Why do we need to avoid exposure to decaying waste materials? What will happen to us if we're exposed to decaying materials? Correct. Decaying materials are waste that may cause harm to one's health. Exposure to it will make people sick. To fully understand our lesson, 
Please check this YouTube video to watch the decay process in action. I'll put the link on the description box so guys, don't forget to check it out. In this visual lesson, we have learned that there are two kinds of garbage, the decaying materials and the non-decaying materials. Non-decaying materials can be recycled and decaying materials enrich the soil. Not all decaying materials decompose at the same time. The rate at which something breaks down depends on where it is and what it is made of. The factors that contribute to the decay process of the materials are temperature, water, air, sunlight, and the action of the microorganisms. That's it for now, guys. Once again, I am Teacher Jaja, your awesome science teacher. Join me again next time in exploring the wonderful world of science because science is fun. Bye!